Lately, I've been learning a lot about generosity because it has been an emphasis in our church. And the question that came to mind is, is generosity a gift, as in a gift of the Holy Spirit where some people have it, some people don't have it? Or is it a discipline that every believer should grow into it? Uh, those people who you just meet who could can give and give and even give the last cloth they have off their back, you know, can just give and give even when they do not have enough to meet their needs, you know, and then you meet other believers who are not necessarily givers. So what can we say about this situation? Is generosity a gift or is generosity a discipline? And when I was getting to study the word of God, I actually noticed it's both. Uh, it's a discipline because uh, 2 Corinthians 8, 7 tells us, but since you, but since you excel in everything, in faith, in spirit, speech, in knowledge, in complete earnestness, and in the love that was kindled in you. See to it that you excel in this grace of giving. It was a whole church that was being addressed to excel in the grace of giving. So that means that it's something all believers are expected to grow in it. You cannot be a disciple of Christ and you remain stingy. You can start when you're stingy, but God expects us to grow in the grace of giving and in the grace of generosity. But also it is true that there are some people who have a special grace of giving. Uh, it's an in the book of Romans chapter 12, we are told we have different gifts according to the grace given to each of us. It talks about the gift of prophesying. Uh, if you have it, prophesy the gift of faith. If you have it, you know, have faith, the gift of serving, the gift of teaching. Then it says, uh, then if you have the gift of giving generously, uh, you should then give, uh, sorry, if it is given, then give generously. So there is actually a gift of giving and some people have. But that you don't have the grace, the gift of giving does not mean you should not give, but it means that you should grow in giving as we are challenged in the book of First Corinthians, uh, 2 Corinthians 8, 7. We should excel in the grace of giving. We should learn. And how do you learn? First, I would say is that when you're going to the house of God it, with your tithes and your offering, purpose to give them. Don't be that person who goes to church and uh, what is in your hand that day is what you give. If you get a 50 bob, you give a 50 bob. If it's a thousand bob, you give a, you give a thousand bob. If it's 5,000, you give 5,000. Always purpose. That is will make you a generous giver. Purpose and challenge yourself to give something that is significant, not without it, as in not without thinking about it. Secondly, I would say then stretch yourself. You know, if in the past you have been just going with a hundred bob, a hundred bob to charge, ask yourself, is it something I can do to give 200? or is it something I can consider to be giving a thousand bob every service? Well, that stretch me. Stretching is good because if you love somebody, you know, it is important that you give also to them. So if you truly love God, you should think about how much, um, how, how you give them. Also remembering uh, the, 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 this parable of the widow where Jesus was, had seated uh, at the temple and people were bringing uh, in offerings. And we are told there's a, a, a widow who brought a few coins and God said he gave more than all the others who had given bigger accounts. It's not in the amount. It's about the thought. It's about the sacrifice that you give. It's about the stretching that you're doing to bring an offering to the house of the Lord. God bless you. Thank you.